Today I learned that there's a breast milk black market and it's festering with bacteria. Yum. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. If you've been hanging on this channel with us for a while, you might remember that Anthony and I made a video singing praises for breast milk. We even tried breast milk of a friend of ours, which was very strange and educational. Research shows that breast milk is one of the healthiest things that you can feed a newborn baby. It boosts their immune system, boosts their IQ, has a protective effect against allergies. In the past few years, we've seen tons of studies urging mothers to embrace breastfeeding. And perhaps this breast milk craze is what got us here today. Thousands of parents are buying or receiving donated breast milk from strangers online. Amongst this group are women who can't breastfeed and parents who have recently adopted. There are milk banks out there that are regulated by health officials, but their supply is much lower than the demand, so it's not really available to anyone but the sickest of babies. Now, exactly how many people are buying unregulated milk is unclear, but one study pins the number of breast milk postings at around 13,000 in 2011, so it's probably a little bit more now. A new study that was published this week in the journal Pediatrics examined over 100 random samples of breast milk being exchanged on these unregulated websites. And in those samples, they found high rates of bacterial contamination. And I'm not talking about the good, healthy bacteria that naturally occurs in breast milk. I'm talking about unhealthily high levels of strep, staph, and even salmonella. 72% of the samples contained bacteria associated with bloodstream infections, meningitis, and fecal contamination. 63% tested positive for staph. 36% were positive for strep and 3% were contaminated with salmonella. Fortunately, none of the samples they tested were positive for HIV, which can be transmitted through breast milk. The scientists believe the contamination is happening mostly in the handling of the breast milk. It's also worth noting that the actual infant illness wasn't studied, so what the numbers mean in terms of health is a little bit unclear. So, you know, I'm reading this story and part of me gets it. Parents want their babies to be healthy and strong. They just want the very best for them. And there's a lot of emphasis on breastfeeding, which can lead women who can't do it to feel kind of crappy. So they come together and they're helping each other out. But then I'm also like, mmm, pretty grossed out at the prospect of feeding my kid unregulated breast milk from a stranger on the internet. You know what I mean? No, I try to be open-minded, but there's something a little bit off about it to me. The scientists are saying, hey, we know these are golden intentions, but at the end of the day, there are some sanitation issues. Ideally, there would be an expansion of the regulated milk banks throughout the US and Canada where the milk is tested and pasteurized, but until that happens, formula is a solid plan B. Thanks for joining me for this D-News update, my friends. Be sure to like us on Facebook to get more science updates every day.